welcome to Flosstube number 30. Uh, I'm Linda and this is my channel, Linda's 144 Hobbies. And cross stitching is one of them. And if you want to follow me more like on a daily basis, go check me out on Instagram. Um, my name over there is Ronya76, but I've added the Linda 144 Hobbies within the name. So you you will find me otherwise there's a li link down below uh, to all the new ones hello and welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification if you don't want to miss anything and to all of you who keeps coming back thank you for the great support now let's get to the cross stitch talking it is today the 31st of january uh, amazing. Already a whole year has, no, a whole year, seriously, a whole month has passed and it has been a great month. Lots of stitching. I've been stitching like every day of January, except for maybe one day when I had to organize my new start. Um, yes, and work is much better now, a lot better. I'm much happier, I'm with friends, I'm doing, you know, basic stuff at the clinic of infectious, infectious disease, disease uh, diseases, I think, yeah. So I'm in the middle of everything at the hospital and it's tough, anyway. <clears throat> So I have actually been very good at filling out my, it says it's a monthly planner. I don't use it as a mo monthly planner. I use it more like, um, um, like putting in notes, what have I actually been doing? And this is how January looks like. Yes, I love it. Um, <clears throat> as you might remember or know, I joined the WIPCO of 2021. And the first numbers that were um, pulled, called for, was 6, 13, and what else? 6, 13, and 18. Yes. So number six was Soft as Steel, My Heaven and Earth Design. Uh, 13 was your choice. And I chose to start a Mirabilia. And number 18 was Anne Morrison. It was the cell I'm joining for uh, celebrating traditional stitches. I think I said 25 years, but I actually think it's just just 15 years of celebration. So that's a sampler for from Hands Across the Sea. And that's the one you see here in the background. So those has been, well, they're supposed to be like the main focus of the month. So we're going to start with looking at that. And my goal is like for the ones that are being called the numbers that are called for i said like well let's just stitch five days on each and i've stitched more than five days on each uh i have i'm gonna show you and try to keep the give you the information let's start with the Anne morrison it's the hands across the sea um sampler it's stitched on 45 count. I'm using the soy, soy, the, not, not soy doll share, soy 103. And I've done the December part and then I did the uh, January part here. And now I started on the February part because it's February tomorrow and I just, I just couldn't wait. So I had to keep on. And the, I mean, you can see that the colors are so, oh, 
very solid and beautiful and this silk is just wonderful to stitch with uh, but 45 count it's it's tiny um, uh, I have a little bit of problem uh, with it uh, too you know with with the eyes um, I'm short-sighted so I need a lot of light I need to have this close to my <laughs> close you know so I can see um, but I only stitched um, so actually it's the third day today I've stitched on it today so three days out of five but then this wasn't called for for February so I know I will just keep up and stitch maybe one or two days more this month so I will I will uh, catch up on those days later on this year so three days of stitching uh, just a few hours um, it's very easy fast stitching so far and I'm enjoying it it's a beautiful sampler I think I have some some of them so this is oh you can't see that um, this is how the sampler will look like when it's all done it's a very small and sweet sampler and the threads are these kinds of threads. So that was the one called for on Whipgo. The other one was uh, Soft as Steel and I stitched how many days? I stitched um, five, six, seven days. Um, and then I also joined um, the full coverage fanatics, I think it is, uh, 21,000 stitches in year 2021. So I'm joining that with the softest steel. And I forgot, I, I started kind of later on. So I have four days, one, two, three, four. Oh, I stitched on her eight days. So four of the days I didn't count my stitches, but on the second day, no, the second week, the last four days, I stitched a total of 2,164 stitches. So I'm pretty proud. It's just background stitching. So it goes very fast. So I'm not bragging with the 2,000 stitches in four days. It's just you know weekend and background you can get a lot done so this is this is her and i'm gonna try to have it like this so i've stitched this part that's like half a page and then i had quite a few part threads over here and i just decided to to stitch them. So this is how it looks right now. And my goal is of course the 21,000 stitches in 2021, but I want at least two pages finished. So she will get some more love this month, even though she's not called for. But that was this other um number called and then the third because we got three numbers she also called for number 13 and i hadn't put any uh design there my plan was to actually start my chatelaine when it was called for but I hadn't received it yet, so I decided to start my Mirabilia. 
and I stitched five, seven days. Could that be true? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think it's seven days uh, on her. And I usually like to stitch on my Mirabilia on Fridays. I don't know why, but I usually usually do that. And I think I will continue with that. And I forgot to say my softest steel, she's stitched on a 27 count. And I'm using the DMC stitching one over one. So Mirabilia, 28 count. It's a hand dyed fabric called Ruin Moss from Crafty Kitten. And my progress on her so far is, can I, let's see if I can do like this maybe, yeah. So, very nice vibrant colors i just love it and i love that i get to stitch with uh water lilies water lilies um uh, thread it's a variegated thread and i really enjoy that and i'm beating as i'm going um i think you can see there are some beads here and i've put some here So I'm very, very pleased with that. And on this one, I am going to use uh, silk threads on her skin. And I'm not gonna stitch one over one. I'm, I'm actually gonna think, try to stitch two over one, 10 stitching. So I hope that will work. Um, yeah, Lady of Mystery, Mirabilia. And I was supposed to start uh, Lady of Justice. But I lost the pattern. Well, I didn't. I didn't lose it. I placed it somewhere. And I went through all my Mirabilia stuff. I thought I went through it all. I couldn't find it. I also lost... Uh, the Enchanted Mermaid. It was horrible. It was a horrible, horrible moment in my life to realize that I have lost two Mirabilia patterns. But of course, I was lucky. There were not any out of print patterns. So I didn't give it time. I ordered new patterns right away. And yes, I found the patterns later on when I decided to, um, I think I decided to, to start, uh, when I decided to start the Lady of Mystery. I don't know why I went through everything again, but then I found the patterns. It's just so silly. Anyway, um, but I'm happy I started the Lady of Mystery because she was one of the first ones I fell in love with so i'm really looking forward to to stitch her and i'm just jabbering on you know uh so that was whip go but i don't know where i get the time i have stitched on so many other things what have i other uh, stitched on yes one of my absolute uh favorite it's um the Heart Spring Samplery, and it's called A Dog's Last Will and Testament. I cry every time I read it, but I still haven't received the fabric from traditional stitches. So I ordered some fabric from XU Designs. I'm very pleased with it. And this is how I've just stitched a little bit every weekend, you know, a couple of hours. Uh, so it's very fast stitching. 
I started the, the the text don't show that well on camera but I started here in the middle and I wanted to get to the top and then stitch my way down so that's been that has been my goal and I reached the top where there is a top border with some very beautiful uh, threads and there is a dog with his bone and the bone is very difficult to see so I'm actually considering to back stitch it to get a little bit more a pop um, and this is what count can this be I think it is a 36 count it could be 32 I'm not sure but it's a grayish linen with a brownish mold in in it like that you can see that yeah and I'm stitching it with what's the name of those threads um, ah it's the gentle art threads so it's not too many colors love it it's so nice and my goal here is actually to finish it this year maybe 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 so that's a little bit more fun than with heaven and earth i'm actually tr trying to finish stuff oh, no, I forgot. and this is like a product bag which is huge so yeah i've stitched uh, yeah maybe two three weekends a little bit every now and then I mean, with one thread, you get to stitch like two, three, three, four letters. So you, you know, you get somewhere. So that's that. Um, what else? What else I need to look at in my calendar where I try to, you know, put my notes down. Oh, and then oh 101 alphabets by rosewood manor where do i have that here it's a huge piece and it's, it's stitched with dmc i think it would be a lot more fun to stitch with something else than dmc this is how the finished piece is going to look like. There are seriously 101 different fonded alphabets. It's so cool. And it's like pages. My goal here is to finish two pages this year. I think maybe I would be able to get more done. Here are all the DMC threads. And sometimes I keep my big projects in pillow bags just to protect it, I guess. And when I stitch, I use the, I put the overhanging fabric here. So this is what I have stitched so far. Also, I stitch a little bit every now and then a thread or two and you get progress and those are algerian eyelids that's the first time i let's see i don't know if it's gonna focus but it's algerian eyelids is the first time i did that before i did it on my chatelaine <laughs> so um it's very simple and easy the difficulty here is that you know, with ending and starting threads when it's just, you know, tiny, um, 
tiny things, you know, um, it's not full coverage and I don't want, you know, to have running threads, not too much of it anyways in the background. So, I mean, you can see it's a large piece of fabric, super big. Um, and actually thinking about it on heaven and earth, uh, Facebook group, there was a lady there who, who shared a video of how she does with those big pieces of fabric and she had a perfect solution. She was using, you know, <clears throat> strands of, um, not thread, what do you call that? Um, like silk, uh, no, some bands, strands. And she tied the fabric up. Um, I might show that sometime because, and I'm gonna try that for sure. Um, instead of, you know, having it in a pillowcase like I do. I'm gonna try that. So, I think maybe some of you, I think a lot of you guys out there are members in that group. And I think most of you maybe have seen the movie. And uh, she shared it recently. So it's not something that happened a long time ago. It was last week I saw it. Really enjoyable, 101 alphabets. It's also like when I saw this on traditional stitches homepage, I was like, oh, what is that? I have to do that. Yes. Why not, you know, challenge myself? <coughs> Excuse me. And then I have stitched a little bit on two more heaven and earths. I think I'm gonna forget to tell you about my chatelaine. I just realized I have forgotten to show you. Um, I stitched four days, four days. I just, I was like, oh, I have to go back to Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I miss it so much. And then I, I grabbed the fabric after, you know, working with the linen and hand dyed even weaves. And I, <laughs> I, it's so rough and, but the gridding is very nice when you stitch heaven and earth. So it's not that. I stitched a total of two, three, four, five, six, like 700 stitches in four days. Yep. And it was just like this little part here. And these, oh my God, my fingers were hurting. And one, the last evening, I think I sat for two, three hours and all I got to stitch was 100 stitches. It was like, I had no part threads there. It was almost every stitch was a, a starting thread. Pick the thread, you know, find the thread within the 238 threads colors I have. Find the thread, start it, stitch one stitch, finish. Put back, find a new thread, start it, stitch one stitch, finish, put it back. It was hell, it was not nightmare. It was a nightmare. How? I, I was like, why? Why am I spending four evenings after work where I have two to three hours of stitching and I spend it like this? It was a waste of time. That's how I felt. I still love it. I mean, it's just awesome. It just 
everyone else who's stitching it and you know like Tracy you know Tracy and Ellie's channel Tracy's craft house I mean she has got a lot of done on this it's just hat off for you guys I mean amazing and I hate that I don't like it because with Amy Stewart's bookshelf there is so many much going on I mean there's every little thing is like a small finish like a uh, train of dreams you know with Randall Spangler there was so many things going on and it was so fun to you see to see how it you know grew I mean if you take soft as steel it's just background it's a big woman I've stitched the woman that was the fun part and now you have background it's not so much fun that I, but it's easy stitching oh I don't know it's so hard and I feel like I'm letting myself down I'm letting you guys down I I made this stitch along video and I'm just not feeling it it's maybe it's gonna grow on me I don't know but I'm still you know decided that I'm not gonna stitch that many heaven and earths because I want to get progress on them I want to see more than one page 700 stitches on once upon a fairy tale it's the super sized with the max colors it's stitched on 25 gridded fabric with dmc threads full cross one over one <laughs> and then i stitched on my mini i see an instagram there yeah. it's for my sister i've stitched one evening i was like no i put aside the once upon a fairy tale i was like i need something more fun more enjoyable and why not just bring forward my randall spangler's little dragon as you can see whoops i have a couple of them here in the background you always need a randall in your rotation always 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 and that was much more fun to stitch and in one evening, I made 399 stitches on a Thursday evening. This is it. I stitched. I'm, I'm trying out the diagonal stitching. I stitched this part here. And I'm stitching with two threads, 10 stitching, uh, parking, diagonal, 25 count. And I'm really enjoying Randall Spangler when stitching him uh, them on mini. And now I can see it very clearly. You see the dark stitches up there? Yeah, that's like my, my daughter's math teacher tells them when they make a mistake. He says, that's a silly mistake. And yeah, that's a silly mistake. So I will probably remove them sometime but isn't that just amazing and it, it, oh, and of course it is dragon in the morning and um, maybe I will put a picture up here or not maybe maybe not maybe not maybe not. Uh, anyway uh, it might be in the thumbnail so you can see it's a draglin hanging over his cup of I guess it's tea because it's called dragon in the morning but for me it's a cup of coffee and I'm the one who's dragon in the morning yeah so those are the heaven and earth but my focus is soft as steel because she is like 26 percent done and I want I want to get more done and there's a big flag in which is she's holding which is also going to be a lot of fun stitching. So that's that. And now to the big one. Ta-da! Drum roll! It is my Chatelaine. Chatelaine. I finally got it. I, I ordered it in October. It took about three months. And she sent it just before Christmas, I think it was. 
So I, un I understood it would take some time and I got it. I made an unboxing video, unboxing, unpackaging video. And I cannot still believe it. I didn't get anything from the customs. I didn't get anything from the mail office to pay or anything. So for me, it was like a big win, a big saving. And where is she? It, she, I call it she, is the Poison Garden Mandela. And I'm loving it. I mean, oh my God. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to kick you. I never thought I would ever like anything but heaven and earth, seriously. But thanks to floss tube, damn you floss tube, I have just found so many amazing things. And Chatelaine, it's all the nice ladies over at the retreat who just made me take the leap. And I'm so happy I did because now I want to stitch all the Chatelaines, of course. <laughs> And in one way, it's a good thing that I changed my job and don't have that much money because otherwise I would go bananas. Um, let's see. Um, poison garden. It's just um, it's so beautiful. You know, I could set everything else aside and just stitch on this. But I have more projects I want to give some love. So I'm kind of restraining myself. But this is my... I started this... When did I start? Start? Um, on the 16th. Mark that day. 16th of January. January. I started my beautiful... Chatelaine and I'm beating as I'm going and that's a starting thread I've just parked it there I'm gonna do my first Jessica stitches and I need to watch YouTube first to 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 see how you do it ah oh, the colors look at that shine and it's just the beads. I mean, there's are, there are silver threads and gold threads. And there's, you know, cross stitches, back stitching, Algerian eyelets, road stitches, Jessica stitches, weaving, diamond eyelets, or whatever it's called. There are so many, there are so much going on here. And, uh, I mean, seriously. And that sweet little needle minder is from Rachel Ray. Thank you, Rachel. And the other ones I just bought from Etsy. So, the cool thing is, I should go <laughs> picture. Um, the cool thing is, that I mean you you get to to use all the threads I mean here is not like 200 colors of DMC this is like a little bit of um, Gloriana some water lilies carry on and there's another carry on which I don't remember water flower something and you have treasure braid and you have some llama treasure braid and you have a dinky dye i don't like the dinky dye it's a pearl dinky dye mm -mm. don't like it at all i hate it but what can you do um and you have beads and you have crystals and you have these uh, what is it called no not delica maybe delica or something 
they're different beads. And I like that it's actually symmetrical. I like that you do the same. I, I thought I didn't, I wasn't going to like that, but I actually like that. It's very soothing because it's difficult, but it makes it easier that you, you know, you just repeat the stuff. And the instructions isn't the very easiest, but then sometimes I'm thinking, well, it's up to me to interpret it, interpret it, to understand the instructions that fits me. So, but I don't think I'm off too much, but yeah, I'm going to stitch some more on that today. Just love it. And yes, I have some more chatelines coming. Um, I just love it. Love, love, love it. That's all the stitching I have been doing this month. That was a lot. I don't think there will be a, as much, di uh, you know, different projects this coming month. Um, because I'm so hooked on Chatelaine and I want some progress on softest steel. And then the Whipco board. Yes, plants. Let's jump to plants. Not plants, plants, you know. Yeah. Um, so the Whipco board, <clears throat> uh, the numbers that were called was 20 and number four. So let's go to the Whipco board. Here's my very delicate made Whipco board. Uh, 20, that's 101 alphabets. Uh, five days of working on that. I hope I'm gonna get a lot of progress on that. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then number four was pulled and that's my Mirabilia. So that's the Lady of Mystery who's gonna get some extra. Um, so that's, I'm really looking forward to that. So that's like the plan, five days each on those. And then I have my stitch along, my hands across the sea. So I need to finish that part for February, which will just take another day. Uh, and then I need to stitch at least about 2000 stitches on soft as steel. And I'm trying to fit in Chatelaine Friday to Sunday. Um, so I will get some progress on that. Um, maybe a little bit more on dogs, um, the dog's will and testimony. We'll see about that. And I'm hoping to give uh, some heaven and earth design, some more love, maybe the Spanglore, I think I would like to stitch a little bit more on that because the corner is almost done. And let's bring it forward again. Um, here after the corner is almost done here and then the watch is, is coming. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Will you stand there without folding? Maybe. Um, yes, let me show you a picture of Poison Garden. I was so excited, I forgot again to show and tell everything about it. So this is how it's gonna look. And yeah, as you saw, I'm in here. So that's kind of good progress actually. But I don't do much after work. Uh, I sit with my daughter and her homework, cook some dinner, and then I stitch. That's my life. Yes. Um, I stitch it on 28 count even weave white, if you wonder. Uh, and I chose 28 count because it's the thing with fitting the beads. And I tried that on Mirabilia. And I was so successful with that. So I am, um, hmm, yeah, I've 
ordered a, a small chatelaine, a mini Mandela. And uh, I hope there is that they're adding the 32 count uh, fabric in there. And then I'm going to try with the beads on that one. So that's that. That's plans. I felt like I just threw all the plants up in the air and no structure, but that's so typical me. <laughs> um, so I have a little bit of haul. Um, and that's the dumb part with just making a video once a month because, you know, I stack up things coming in and then I need to use some of the stuff and then I forget to bring them here. But a haul is, of course, my Mirabil no, my Chatelaine kit. And I received a huge package with all the threads, except for DMC. I've added those myself. And I wonder where you're going to use the DMC. I haven't used them yet. So that's one haul. Um... And the pattern, I have it on PDF. And then, you know, Sweden has opened an Amazon. So I was very pleased with that because I found out that they had the Deris, the, the Deris tr uh, beading tray or container. So I ordered the one with, what does it have, 80, 82 small ones. They, they're they perfect for at least Mill Hill kits, uh, Mill Hill uh, beads. So this is going to stack up all the Mirabilia beads as I stitch them. And, you know, no shipping cost or anything. Just the price for this, they're kind of expensive. And it was here like the next day. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> and I have another one with the larger bins. And I use this for my Chatelaine. I have the small <clears throat> tubes in there. Um, and what else yeah i mean this is so cool uh in june 2020 when <laughs> the whole world just got crazy i ordered some silk threads from a russian store and after three months i saw that they had shipped it back to russia i was like what the fuck you know why? 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 And she contact, contacted me and said, well, she had received my threads back and it says that the declaration wasn't good enough. And I told her, you have to fill out all the information in there. I mean, I don't care that I have to pay for, you know, the customs. I know that when I order from outside the European Un Union. Um, so she did that. Thank you very much. This is very, very appreciated. And it came like around Christmas. No, it was after Christmas. It was just a few weeks ago. And <laughs> I, it's funny. So now I have all the collections of the threads. It's um, the Splendor Rainbow Gallery collection. And it's for the skins of my Mirabilias. So that's awesome. And another one, another order I did, which customs didn't like and sent back was fabric from Be Stitch Me. I was there a f like, uh, what do you call it? On Fridays, she releases some fabric, which you fight for. And I fought for these. And she contacted me saying that I have received this. And I told her, you have to fill out the declaration properly or I won't receive them. 
uh, because the Swedish customs are very, <laughs> very thorough when it comes to cross-stitching stuff. When you smuggle other stuff, no problem. But cross-stitching threads and fabric, be aware, be very aware. Don't bring it into Sweden. They might be dangerous. But this month, they arrived! <sighs> <laughs> they're so cool now it's gonna crinkle i haven't t t looked at them yet so plugs in or sound off i'll open the other one right away Okay, I mean, look at these. Oh, oh my God. Ta-da! Wow. It's insane. So it's an 1818 by 27, uh, 32 count linen. So it's opal. So there's some glitter in it. Hand dyed by Be Stitch Me. There's, there's the card. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And I don't know which Mirabilia. What do you think about red? Would she be cool on this? I don't know. And then we have the one I really, really wanted. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's also 18 by 27, 32 count linen, but there's no sparkle in this. And the one I really want to stitch on this is the Persif Persiphone, Persiphine, Persiphone, whatever. The one with the blue dress and she's eating an apple and there's some brown um, black work something behind her. But her hair is like this color, so maybe not. But this is so cool. The waiting has been long. I pro I swear, my God. Oh. So that was nice. Um. I feel my microphone is up in my. Throat. So we'll add these to the collection. And last time I showed you uh, some hand dyed fabric from Crafty Kitten. And uh, I took a look at it after a while. I was like, I don't, I didn't order those small pieces. I took a look, took a closer look and <clears throat> she had made a mistake. I contacted her. She's going to fix it. That's what's so amazing about Dawn at Crafty Kitten that uh, she fixes it right away. And I still have an order which I made in June, which I still haven't received. And she told me it's coming soon. So I hope so. So I have three more pieces and then I'm done with the hand dyed fabric for a while. So as I told you guys, I lost my Mirabilia patterns. So I had to order them right away instead of, you know, giving it some time. Come on. So, haul. I ordered them both. Justice and the Enchanted Mermaid. Yeah. So now I have two of them. Yes. Yay me. 
So that's haul. And then I have one last thing. Also Mirabilia. Oh God, did you see the Mirabilia? I think I told you about that last time. Yes, the Mirabilia uh, for December. I, I haven't received the kit yet. I'm waiting it uh, for it from um, Hawkins Hobbies. And they're in the UK and we all know that the UK is in big trouble and lockdowns and everything. So everything takes time. Yes. So it will get here when it, when it gets here. Come on. So I, I ordered some DMC, DMC threads for my um, shell lane and then I was like, well, let's just get a Mirabilia embellishment kit and pattern for a design I've been looking at for quite some time and that's the Tree of Hope. I just love the design, the little look the meaning tree of hope and here's all the beautiful beads amazing very very beautiful and it's a natural brown linen it's going to be stitched on so i think i can get some very nice fabric from xu designs for this and there are some carrion water lilies there's four of them actually but no Kranich, oh, thank God. <laughs> um, oh, so that, that's the haul. Uh, but I have learned something really cool. Um, and I kind of hate myself for not, you know, learning about this earlier. But, you know, on Mirabilia, there's always Kranich, not on all of them, but a lot of them has Kranich. And Kranich, we know, is like a bitch to stitch with use the French words in this video but on my Chatelaine they're also using that goldy threads and when I saw it I was like oh my god is it going to be like Krennic but when I started stitching it and I watched Crafty Lisa's video when she's stitching the the Royal Tudor mandala and her uh, metallic thread looked easy so I was thinking maybe it's not so bad and when I started stitching with it and I was going to stitch one over one with this I was like you can't do that with Krennic uh-uh no way but the treasure braid was so soft and nice and just so enjoyable to stitch with and I'm like why isn't Mirabilia having these and now I understand why, what's her name? Stitcherista, what's her real name? Donna, Do Donna? Oh, I'm sorry. But Stitcherista, she always says, I'm replacing Krennic with Treasure Braid. And I'm like, what's the difference, you know? But I know the difference now. And that's the thing with all the kids that has Krennic, you know, all the mermaids. I'm seriously considering maybe it's worth replacing it with treasure braid. So I might do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, people. I snagged my daughter's mug. I dump your ass. And that's from, uh, what's the series called? Stranger Things. So my, my daughter, she loves Eleven. Yeah. Oh, what, Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah. Millie Bobby Brown. Well, people, a full hour of cross-stitch talk. I hope you have enjoyed. I have enjoyed making this video. Right now, I'm just enjoying life so much more than last year. So I hope you guys are as well. And uh, for now, I will try to keep this once a month. Maybe I will, you know, add up a little bit or do a video in between. I don't know. I can't promise anything. But I wish you all a 
happy Sunday and I hope you all have a happy stitching February because I know I am. So let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a nice one. Bye.